this look today. It's a peacock inspired look requested by a very good friend of mine. And this is my take on it. I did a little bit of research on uh, peacocks, not just the one that we know that has the gorgeous blue, uh, iridescent blue color. Um, there are so many different types of peacocks uh, with the greens and the golds. Uh, there's even a white peacock. Um, people thought that uh, it was more of an albino color, but it really isn't an albino one. It's just its feathers are white. Um, so let me quickly show you. The colors that I used, I went with my double stack palette and I did such a mixture of colors. I, for the inner corner, used this yellow right here. Then for the entire lid, I did a mixture of this color right here and this color right here. Then on the lower part of the lid, went with this color, this color, and this color right here. Then on the top, into the crease, did this one right here and this one right here. And then to soften out all around the edge, I went over to my Color Institute palette and I used, let me just close it up a little bit, it's so much easier. I used up this soft pink right here. Then I went ahead and used my Wet n Wild eyeliner uh, to do the wing, uh, used the purple to soften it up and that soft pink uh, on underneath to kind of provide a highlight, uh, used the blush from the Color Institute palette, did somewhat of a neutral lip, nothing really intense. I don't like glossy lips. You guys will hear that at the end of the if video. If you <laughs> want to learn how to do this look. Uh, you're gonna need time some patience I hope that you can kind of follow along it's not um, a simple look at all you have to do a lot of blending uh, with this particular look and just to create a sparkly base for it I took where is it here it is I took this little palette by Revlon of cream shadows and it's got some sparkle it's a uh, the wild orchids palette I got as a gift from uh, my sister-in-law and I used this first color right here to provide a base and to make the blues, uh, I would say, kind of pop. Um, I didn't go with the uh, intense blue color uh, peacock eye that everybody is so used to. I kind of did a combination of all of the information that I researched, but this is my take. I hope you like it. And if you try it out, I hope you like it just as much as I do. I feel awesome in this look. So go ahead, grab your brushes, grab your colors, and let's get started. So I've completed one eye. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the other one. I'm going to go ahead and grab the little palette from Revlon. And I'm going to grab that first color and just apply it all over the lid. Grab your large smudger brush and let me get adjusted here. <laughs> and we're going to do a mixture of that green and baby blue and dark blue. So you're going to dab into each of these colors and you're going to end up with something like this on your brush. And then just apply that all over the lid. You're going to use the other side of the smudger brush and start grabbing your darker blue and purple. And then work that on the lower part of the lid. Some peacocks are actually native to India. Some of them are native to, uh, I believe is uh, Asia. Um, when I did my research on this, I learned a lot about them. So 
you know, do what you feel is best. If you like more into the blues, more into the greens, some of them have a lot of yellows and golds. Uh, so you could definitely do uh, whatever take you like on this. So go ahead and take your green and baby blue. And we're going to work this into the crease now. And we're going to create somewhat of a teal color. We're going to apply that right into the crease and then work it in. And bring that all the way in. Grab a clean fluffy brush. And you're just going to clean that edge up a little bit. And soften it up. Then what I'm going to do to give some iridescence is go ahead and grab that shimmery pink onto my brush and apply it right at the edge. Then what you're going to do is take a small smudger brush like this or you, or it, some people call this a pencil brush because it comes kind of like to a point and you're going to dip that into the navy blue and purple and we're going to smudge in some purple very close to the lash line as if we were applying eyeliner. And it'll give a really nice gradient effect between the colors. Then you just want to pull that color up and wing it out a little bit. And then we're going to work on the bottom lash line. So you're going to grab that yellow, dab into the yellow. See, it's not a lot of color. Dab into your yellow, dab into the green. Tap off the excess and then just sweep it right across. And just grab more color as you feel is necessary. And apply that on there. Then the, grab your darker green color. It's like a lime green, I would say. And that baby blue. Work the two in to the brush and it creates like a teal color. Can you see that? And we're going to apply that right in the middle here. Then you're going to move it back into that navy blue and your dark purple and apply it at the outer corner of the bottom lash line and meet it up with the top and then work that out. Then I'm going to go ahead, grab my liquid liner. And this is just a regular liquid liner from, uh, actually it's uh, Wet and Wild's liquid liner. We're going to go ahead and create that wing. So start about the middle of the eye and start bringing it down. See that? Then what we're going to do is grab a shimmering black shadow on an angled liner to set that and it doesn't go anywhere, it won't crease into the uh, crease. <laughs> and it's going to help extend that out so it matches like this. And it's actually going to look really nice with that purple along the eyeliner. So again, start about the middle. And just dab that color in. See how that's looking? It's a bit of an angle. And that's not a problem because we're not finished with it. Do go back to your 
pencil brush. Just wipe it off. Go back into the purple eyeshadow. Just grab a little bit. And then you're going to just run that across the top of the liner. Also to help set it in. And it's great for smudging it out. And it's not going to smoke it out, really. It's just going to help create that swooped effect that we've created here. And see how it's a soft line, not such a harsh one like it is here? See how it starts softening it right up? Then, that pink that we laid up here, you're going to grab a straight brush, dip it into the pink, and then you're going to lay that right underneath here. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with the liner now. I feel they match and that's as close as it's going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara, finish the brow, and I will be right back. Okay, okay? so I went ahead and completed my eyebrow and applied mascara. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blush. And I'm going to use that from the palette from the Color Institute. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of blush on the cheek and I'm also going to do a little bit of a highlight combination with the blush. And for this look, I am going to do a little bit of bronzer. going to grab a little bit, do a little contouring, not too, too much. And I'm going to go ahead and do somewhat of a neutral lip. I really don't like doing a pale lip or just a glossy lip. So I'm going to go back to my Mary Kay lip gloss in cream sugar. So there's the completed look, you guys. I hope you like it. I love this look. I can't wait to go outside like this. I feel so cool in this look. Check those colors out. I even did my hair um, in a little bun, kind of picked it up a little bit to resemble or uh, kind of a, yeah, kind of resemble like the crest of a peacock. <laughs> and um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you can comment, leave them below. Let me know what you think. Um, rate it. And if you try it out, go ahead, post your video response. I I can't wait to go out like this. I'm sorry. I'm just like so beside myself right now because I love the way that this look came out. I, I'm just, I love it. Like, look at this. Look at these colors, man. I'm seriously. But anyway, <laughs> let me just keep it going. Go ahead and um, have yourself a great day. Let me know again if you have any suggestions, any ideas that you would like uh, to see my take on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>